Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased with the recent diplomatic proposal to address this terrible crisis in Syria. Peace takes courage, and I am proud we have a president who is willing to embrace this diplomatic option. The proposals by Russia and Syria have raised the possibility of a real diplomatic solution to the crisis, with Syria possibly agreeing to accept international control of its chemical weapons stockpile. I hope that this proposal bears fruit and that the President will do everything he can to make it a reality. But we cannot pretend that military action is a good alternative. Violence must not be mistaken for strength, and our limited strike risks igniting a dangerously unlimited conflict. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. knew what he was talking about when he said, returning violence for violence only multiplies violence, adding deeper darkness to a night already devoid of stars. Let us give peace a chance to solve the problems that military strikes could not begin to address.